Hello, I'm John Pickering. I'm the head zookeeper here at Subby Holland Garden Zoo, and I'd like to talk to you a little bit about penguins. Now, there are 17 different species of penguin in the world, and they're all found in the southern hemisphere. Now, here at Subby, we have Humboldt penguins, which are originally from the west coast of South America, from Chile to Peru. Now, they're named after the Humboldt Current, which is the cold current of water they swim in, which is also named after the explorer Alexander von Humboldt. Unfortunately, Humboldt penguins are classed as vulnerable to extinction in the wild. One of the main reasons for this is they nest in something called guano. Now guano, for people that don't know, is all the seabird poo that has built up on the beaches and cliffs over the years and these guys like to burrow into it to lay their eggs. Unfortunately, guano makes very good fertilizer and so the Peruvians excavate it for fertilizer and it's taken away the nesting sites from these guys. But we've done some peng penguin hat workshops here at Sobe and uh, we don't charge for these workshops but we do ask if people would like to make a donation and the money we've collected is going towards a sustainable guano harvest to help these guys in the wild. Another reason these guys are up against it is because of overfishing. Their preferred food source in the wild would be anchovies and anchovies is quite an overfished fish and it's taken away the food supplies from these guys. Now these guys like to lay two eggs, which they incubate for 40 days. Now what we found out is if they hatch two chicks out, the chicks, they tend to feed the strongest chick, and unfortunately we sometimes lose a chick after about a week. So back in 2002 when they hatched two chicks out, I decided I didn't want this to happen, so I took one of the chicks away, which is that one there, Webster, and I hand reared her at home, and left the parents to rear Twinny there in the middle with the green band on. Now Webster, I had to blend up fish and salt water and put it in a syringe and I had to syringe feed her first thing in the morning, again at lunchtime, again at six o'clock and the last feed at midnight. And then when she was three months old, she came back to the zoo to join the other guys. And then the following year, in 2003, Toby here hatched in an incubator, so I had it to do it all over again. Now we've bred five penguins here, the two that I've hand reared, and then 20 has been parent reared, and then we've got Pikachu over there that was bred in 2000. Unfortunately, we've only bred the one male, and so we've recently got a new male in, another collection provided us with a new male, and that's the one just getting out of the pond now. Now these guys are black and white, and there's a good reason for that. It's when it's called counter shading, it's a form of camouflage, it's so that any predators looking down from above, the black blends with the ocean. Any predators looking from below, the white blends with the sky. Helps to protect them against things like leopard seals. Now the average lifespan of a penguin is 15 to 20. But back in 1990, we got one of our first ones, Rosie. And Rosie has reached the grand old age of 30 here in 2020. We think she's possibly the oldest penguin, certainly in the UK, if not the world. So it's a fantastic achievement for her to get to that age. 